CI Kitchen is brought to you by Harvest Market. So what's the difference between a chop between chopping, mincing, and slicing? And just how many different types of knives should one person own? Anita's got a lot, and she's going to break us in on how to use these in the right fashion and safely. Thanks for being here. This is actually connected to a class that you do. It is. I'm doing a teen boot camp July 31st and August 1st in Arthur at the library, 11.30 to 1. And you're really passionate about teaching kids to cook. Why I am. is that? Well, just recently, for an example, the obesity numbers came out for last year, um, especially in the rural areas. 40% of teens and kids are obese. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, and that's not just overweight. That's obese. Yes. That's like the next category. Being. And part of the reason is um, we're busy people. Nobody has time to cook. And this is a skill that if you master, you're fast. Yeah, well, it's so true. And I remember when you taught me how to use a knife. Right. That was the first time I'd ever actually been shown how to do it. It totally, you, you can totally mince and chop. That's right. And, so let's talk a little bit about knives and then what we can do with sure. them. Sure. You have a whole array here. I do. I have a whole array of knives and cutting boards. So the first thing I want to point out to you, and if you would just pick up some of these. Okay. One of the important things is how it feels in your hand. Okay. So everybody's like, oh, a knife's a knife. Not really. Which do you prefer? Oh, uh, which one? Yes. I like this one. See, I do not. That's my least favorite knife. Okay. <laughs> so there's an example. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Between these um, certainly, yeah. Interesting. And this is my favorite. I like the weight of it. That's mine from home. These are knives that I use in class. This is pretty heavy. I like a heavy knife. Some people don't. And so, and does it change the, the weight of the knife? Does it change how it cuts? or? I don't really think so. I think it's just a comfort level. Yeah. And then size. This is for younger kids. Um, they really like that one because that's Guy Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, anything that's endorsed by right. the television guy. That's and a, it's smaller in their hand for some of the younger kids. They yeah. feel a little more comfortable with that. Okay. And then different types of knives yes. for different kinds of cutting Absolutely. situations. Absolutely. We do not need that big knife block with 20 knives that <laughs> I don't you use never this use. for butter? No. Oh, okay. So really, here are your three knives. <laughs> You need, <laughs> you need a chef's knife. This is multi-purpose. It'll pretty much do everything. Okay. So if you're going to invest some money in a knife, here's where it's going to go. Okay. And by that, a good chef's knife is at least $50. These are inexpensive and they work fine. They just aren't, they won't um, hold their edges long. Okay. okay. So you're going to have to go get them sharpened or... More or often. Okay. More than likely, you don't and then you have accidents. And okay. then this would be your next purchase. It doesn't have to be the best quality of a bread, bread knife. knife. Mm -hmm. Okay. And people like to use that for tomatoes also. Oh. Okay. And, and so what is it? What are the little tips? It's just serrated, do? so it just cuts better. You know how that skin of that tomato sometimes doesn't want to go through. Right, and, right. I mean, personally, if you keep your knife sharp enough, it should be not be a problem. But a lot of people like that for that reason. This is the one that when people use to cut everything with, kind of bothers me a little bit. Okay. But this is our paring knife. Don't put any money into that. Just get the inexpensive one. I usually pick them up at the dollar store. When it's not sharp anymore, I pitch it. Oh, okay. And and what do you use? So uh, bread, obviously. Bread for that. And this so is the workhorse for everything. This is if you're going to peel an apple or some little small task. And this is the one that I'm going to use close to me. Like if I'm to, like exactly. cutting a banana so or something like that. So this is on the board. This might be off the board. Okay. Okay, so it's in your hand. And you might be peeling the apple or just right. like you said. You have three different kinds of, of cutting boards as oh, well. Oh, I have here. more than three. Well, oh, well, okay, so you brought four with you. Right? But at least these two and this one. This one different. and this one. So oh, this five. is the one that you never want to use. <laughs> this one, right? Right. That sits next to my this stove. This is the one you don't want to use. Yeah, the glass. Um, all it is is a glass board. It's terrible on your knives. Your knife will slip. Your, it's just not good. Well, and I feel like, I mean, you're, you're putting pressure down on a, it's on just, a piece of glass. There's so nothing good about it. Other okay. than if <laughs> it sits next to my stove, I can put a hot pot on it or my spoon. Oh, it's easy to clean. Oh, well, okay. okay. There's, there's that. Otherwise, though, man. There's my positive. Right. This is bamboo. Oh. And the beauty of this, supposedly, is that it's not porous, so the bacteria won't get in there quite as easily, okay? But again, it's hard on your knives. It's a hard surface, as you can tell. Sure. Okay? Yeah. Okay, well, and, and anything made from a plant fiber is at least somewhat porous. It's somewhat, but not like this. Not like wood. So right. let's talk about the, the wood block right. that everyone And then this is, um, this is a wood block. 
I actually got this at Booz Block in Effingham. Yep. I highly recommend everybody go to their outlet because they have great deals and great products. As you can see, it's thick, it's wood. All you have to worry about is keeping the bacteria off of it. Mm -hmm. So it can't go in the dishwasher like this one can. Okay. And there's some issues with that. So most people will choose to use this for vegetables, fruits, and keep meat on plastic. Okay. The other thing you have to do is it gets dried out. You'll need a product to, and this is mineral oil. There's different types. Um, this one actually says laxative on it, so you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you literally. Say, so it's edible. So it's yeah, edible. Yeah. <laughs> literally, I see what you, yeah. So it says, you know, tasteless, odorless, colorless, so that should tell you I can use this. That's what right. it's used for. Safely, yeah. Safely. But I mean, you're obviously cleaning right. the mineral There's oil There's mineral off. oil that's used for machinery, and you don't want to put that. So that's right. what you want to look for. And so your recommendation, doing a lot of cooking and teaching people, which one do you like? I like this. It's pretty easy on your knife. Mm -hmm. I like it because it goes in the dishwasher. Now, this one I found, I pilfered from CI Living. And as you can see... It's not pretty. No, because see all the cuts in that? Yeah, all I'm right. going gonna, gonna to elevate gets, it. So, so and they'll all get to that point. Okay. So you can't get the bacteria out of all of that. So that one needs to go. Okay. I think we can see it there. But yeah, I mean, there's just a right. ton of cuts. So, all right. Oh, and the backside's no better. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry you had to steal that from us. And then this is a mandolin, <laughs> which is okay. very, very dangerous. It's like, I mean, this is, the, okay. Let's show this off. If you right. haven't seen a mandolin before, and this is how you a blade get this paper thin cut. It's beautiful. Yeah, and you then, can so get it actually thinner than that. Really? Mm -hmm. And so you just stick it on here and go right. like this back and forth. But what most people like to do, like me, is you can do this for a while and then you're thinking, oh, I'll put that on there later, and then you cut yourself. Or as we were discussing earlier, cleaning it. Cleaning it. That's mm -hmm. where I, yeah, that's where I hurt myself. So just be careful. And then here's a knife sharpener. More accidents happen with a dull knife than a sharp knife. I just really? like to have this little tool. I don't know how where to sharpen it. Where do you get one it. of these? Walmart. Okay. Amazon. And all you need to do is take the knife, set it down. That's got a guard on it. And just do and one of these? Go, right. Oh, yeah, you, you can hear it in there. Right, and that's all you do. Okay, perfect. Well, we're going to do some cooking here now that our knives... Well, I'll, right. I'll sharpen the rest of your knives during the break. Oh, great. <laughs> and then we'll do some cooking here in the CI Kitchen. If you want more about Anita, a, a link to Anita's Table Talk, uh, her, she's got great information on her Facebook page. We'll connect you to that at CILiving.tv. 